I hate the character, but don't hate the player. It's not the player's fault. He just likes the character. Yeah, super I, annoying. I, 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 I like hate Luigi, uh, but I love Elevate. I like Best Ness in Co. <laughs> but the other Ness is, um... Yeah. Somewhere in the corner, Lumbre is just crying like, I see how this starts. Sorry, man. He knows how I feel. <laughs> he is well aware how I feel. I've had to play Lumbre, so he knows. But yeah, congrats <laughs> on winning uh, in a cast tournament. Uh, I don't remember yeah. what the... I remember it being like in the triple digits, so... Enjoy that money. But yes, the first set of winners semis. Tony's a tank and Burst. I mean, Burst play a lot of different characters. Yeah. Like, uh... I would see him play Inkling, Yoshi, I think he played Luigi's a little bit too. I, we, saw, we saw Yoshi the last time we saw Burst. Mm. And we know that it didn't fare too well for Burst, and then until he went Inkling, but... Yeah, he's doing good this uh, so far though. I haven't seen the matchup actually, so... I can't tell you. I feel like I'm starting to see Sonic a lot more than usual, but I still don't know that many matchups with Sonic. Yeah, I think online when it comes to the metagame, Sonic has definitely moved from like a high tier to probably like a top 5, top 10 character, in my opinion, especially over Wi-Fi. So that can, Sonic becomes more of a prevalent threat. Yeah, I can see that. Whoa. So, uh, so far it looks like Tony's just trying to use this spin out to catch Yoshi's landing after he double jumps. But, uh, Burst yeah, is cool. also trying to time his aerial to hit him out of spin dash, too. It's like a cat and mouse game, I guess. Yeah, I think, like, Yoshi's aerials can be pretty punishing, too. Like, you commit to them a lot, but, like, I know for a fact, like, his aerials hurt. Things like Nair can lead to tech chase situations, and Yoshi's aerials do have a lot in the box, so. Yeah, that's what's important. Those types of moves that last a long time are good at uh, dealing with Sonic's hitboxes when he's approaching anyone. I'm just happy to see Burst isn't afraid to go off stage to challenge Tony's a tank's recovery. Like even when Tony tries to recover low, most characters won't go too far off stage just because Sonic can't recover from so deep. Yeah. But like we'll see Burst drop down with the Nair or with a down air, which lingers and you know, just trying to really put Tony in that stage tech situation. Yeah. Oh nice nice catch there. Uh yeah, I don't think Sonic's recovery like it, it's good, but since his up B is um you know, no hitbox at the top, you can just throw out moves a lot of times. Especially if they don't have a jump. So Especially with how good Versus are recovering, as you can see. Um, I don't blame him for going off stage so much. Oh, right try to get the double fair. Yeah, he, he timed the first fair to cover air dodge too. If he got like the spike hitbox, he could, probably could have got something uh, a little bit better. It, it was like, you can't take like ground down spikes in the game, so Yoshi can capitalize pretty heavily, but Tony's getting some good opportunities here. Nice use of the double jump armor. If he didn't have that, he would have got saved with really far off stage. Probably died. Cause he had like, I think that was max charge on the time. Okay. Oh. Yeah, getting caught with the spin dash into forward air, the classic yeah. Sonic combo. Yeah, that move, that forward air out of spin dash actually kills so early. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you're taking, you're initially taking the spin dash hit and then the forward air, and it's the last hit that actually has the most knockback, but also is the bigger hitbox too. So like, you, yeah. it's, it's pretty powerful. Yeah. Also, the spin dash like carrying you to the blast zone doesn't help either. Yep. It's it's virtually a free corner carry to kill. <laughs> I look at Tony. He's starting to take his time with his approaches a little bit more, knowing that burst like is a force. Being behind, he has to approach. So Tommy will like retreat while he's still in spin dash and wait for Burst to push a button so he can whip punish with spin dash. Yeah, that's like the Sonic strategy 101. Like that's yeah. why so many people, especially on this stage, they like don't want to give Sonic uh, percent lead like this because it's so difficult to get in on him without getting punished. Not impossible though, but it's going to be pretty hard. I mean, you might need that that double dunk, which is what he was working on earlier in the game. Oh, 
No touches on the platform, unfortunately. Yeah, it was good on Tony. Instead of like sticking on the platform to just retreat, uh, first definitely gonna have those have access to the Ooh. armor and the drop down like aerials. That was really smart. Um, yeah, he's like charged the spin dash for as long as possible, and as soon as Burst committed to hit him out of it, he like quick punished him immediately. That's just a strategy that just gets even stronger as Sonic when your opponent's forced to approach. Especially in a situation like that where he was like, he had to make a desperate play to, you know, bring that back. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I, I honestly thought Burst wasn't doing bad with Yoshi, but maybe he'll switch to Inkling. Yeah. He played Inkling a majority of today, so I feel like maybe the Inkling is just a little time. bit more work, uh, warmed up. Yeah, I was I was gonna say like I think his Inkling the last time we saw him play, his Inkling did way better than than this time. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, I think this is the other thing I noticed last time is that Burst isn't afraid to take Sonic to Final Destination. Which yeah, which is most like, players would be like, why? <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. Like, why would you? Why would you want to do that? But I think Burst even had success last time he he played Sonic here. Wow, it's a lot of ink. It's a lot of yellow. Okay, Spring gonna connect. Burst having a little bit of difficulty making it back to the stage and continues to get combo by Tony the Tank. So this is like a similar situation. Oh, nice. It is like yeah, a similar situation with uh, the Yoshi. Like, you're using a character that has really good hitboxes for like long people out and intercepting approaches, but that strategy isn't that strong when you're behind, because Sonic doesn't really feel forced to just run into Inkling's hitbox, especially on this stage. So, it, it's kind of hard. That's the one thing that I would say, like, it, it, even though Burst isn't afraid of taking Sonic to FD, I would still strongly advise against it, because in such a stage like this, like, look at how, look at how well Tony's doing. Wow. Yeah, the hitbox... Damage. Yeah, Inkling has scary hitboxes, but, like, when Sonic is ahead, he does not have to worry about it at all. Yeah, see, you just seeing Burst is taking so much damage just from, like, forcing the approach, which honestly, I, I don't blame him. This is a very frustrating position to be in when you're so far behind. Yeah, yeah. Just giving it up on the last dog. He was having a lot of difficulty just getting in on Tony. Tony just had the reads on Burst. He knew when he wanted to go high, he knew when he was going for ledge. Yep. Very really difficult. unfortunate for Burst, but just a testament to how good Tony is. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Let's see. Probably switching back to the Yoshi. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hard, honestly. I don't think Inkling's bad, but that stage just didn't work for him at all. I don't even think it's a bad Inkling stage. It's just when you're behind, it's so hard to deal with Sonic on the FD, I think. Yeah, and then not only that, like, it definitely showed, like, he took so much percent <laughs> against Tony that one interaction he had at the right side of the stage. So, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I feel like Rob can do it. I'm I'm not questioning it. I'm oh. more, I haven't seen the matchup, honestly. The only way I can think of Rob giving Sonic some trouble is because of Gyro, because Gyro forces Sonic to jump. Yeah. And a very good Rob can definitely read those jumps and punish Sonic for that, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah I think it's, it's been more a while. Than that. It's also yeah. like how big Nair is. You can always do like retreating Nair and it puts the fire in front of Rob. Yeah. yeah. He has moves yeah. that hit on both sides of him. You see his matchup uh, pretty often these days with like Benny and uh, Rafi versus like all the other online Sonics. And they don't do too bad just because of things that you said. But, uh,. Yeah, right now, and Tony's not slowing down whatsoever. Oh, nice. You know, even though Tony is still a little bit up in terms of percent, like, 
that small interaction burst had a little bit was just enough to get the forward air into neutral air things like that that's what's gonna really count like you got like you said earlier guys like retreating neutral air is really good because of its hitbox but also you know getting combos with forward air is also a big deal too yeah one thing though that's gonna be kind of hard uh for for burst i think is just Rob's main weakness in general is just his size, so these uh, spin dash combos are going to be even easier, I think, for uh, Tony to connect consistently. Yeah, and if he's not, you know, he has to be careful in terms of, like, reading out Tony because, like you said, that big hitbox is, a, yeah. hitbox is one thing, but also, like, Rob isn't that fast either way. So he has no. to make sure he has the right call out, and I think a few times I've seen Tony go around Burst just to hit himself. Burst has to be really cautious. Yeah, I hope we don't see another situation where, like, uh, Burst is throwing out all these moves just to, you know, get the stock and it's, just take so much percent. But as I say that, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> it's like happening right now. <laughs> I feel like right now it's like Burst struggling oh. for just a, okay, good spinny arms. Uh, but he was just struggling to just even have room to breathe. Tony was just smothering Burst. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, it's uh, it's rough, man. Tony isn't even like the Sonic either that uh, just hangs back when he has a lead. He's very good at mixing up aggressive, defensive, so it, it can throw a lot of people off. Okay, okay. I know he wants. I know he wants that, he wants that crazy arrow. gyro kill. He wants that that sixty <laughs> percent side boot kill to end the move. Yeah, he one had forward the... away from it too. Yeah, we saw the one-two jab into it. Oh man, get, get my nice homie attack to the back there. Tony has very good combos with Sonic. So he has great see. intuition too as far as like where he where the opponent's gonna oh. go. Oh good tech. Good tech. Oh no, oh, no! Oh, that's not how you wanna go, not like this. Yeah. Not, not, a like good set. not a good set for first. Yeah. Gotta say. Getting 3-0'd by Sonic just doesn't feel good.